beforehand it was mentioned that the race is similar to the pro race and it's similar suffering but actually okay in the pros it's a huge victory and it's something that will last for that rider's career but in this race it's something that will make a rider's career and and each and every rider in that peloton goes into into the race thinking if i can win this then you know maybe that's my life set or that's the next 20 years or for the french guys that you know could be yeah they're never gonna pay for dinner in a restaurant again i think so uh <laughs> there's no other bike race really that is it any way like this race it's completely different the effect it has on your body the the mental aspect going into it I think, because actually it's such a daunting prospect kind of what lays ahead and the only thing i could say it's similar to is anyone that's kind of spent a day cycling in the mountains and and looked up and, and thought how am i ever going to get up there kind of 1500 meters above this 20 whatever it is k's of winding road up ahead and if you let that thought develop too much in your head then it, it becomes overwhelming it's like anything in in life i think there's definitely favorites coming into the race uh probably yeah a dozen or so uh maybe one from each team so maybe even a few more uh but equally there's probably half the field or more uh that a lot of riders especially there's quite a lot of french teams in the race uh, it's not it's a very international race but it's still uh mainly northern european teams um so certainly for myself, there would have been the vast majority of the riders I wouldn't have known. Um, then when you get to the last stages of the race, then yeah, you start to know, I'd say more of the riders and there's definitely a little bit more uh, watching and, and going on. There's more riders definitely that could win than, than the pros, I'll ask you a question. For myself, having ridden the race twice in the juniors, I kind of had a pretty good idea of the mistakes I've made in the past. I think also it's, something really a race like that is kind of almost falls down to instinct a little bit as you can kind of see with all the vehicles in the convoy the crashes obviously we had the bad weather this year as well there's so much going on it really needs to be second nature what you're doing throughout the race and it's certainly very small things uh, that are making the difference kind of come the end of a race for example in my first year i was constantly scurrying across the cobblestones and, and oh that line looks better and i'll go back to the, the crown and i'll go back to the gutter and by halfway through both my wheels were kind of pretty much destroyed so you kind of learn something new every every time you do it i'd, I'd imagine that sector you saw where i was puffing my cheeks out and covering mud and, and all the rest of it uh i actually have the jersey from that race with the numbers still pinned on uh at the end of my bed at, at home in spain so that's really a moment to remember when it's raining outside or I have to go and ride down Lee Bridge Road here or uh, any of the rest of it and yeah try and work hard all winter and and goals uh, get stronger and go back to these races the same races the the mountain races the cobblestone races uh, new races and uh, keep trying to yeah I haven't won a race in two years so maybe try and win a race that'd be good